Hey everybody, in this video, you're going to see a Harbor Freight 30 inch four drawer US General uh, modification. I had bought this cart uh, not too long ago and I've been using it in my shop. Just absolutely love the, the height of it. Uh, it's just so easy to move around. Uh, the only drawback is it doesn't have enough space or storage uh, in it. It's only got four drawers. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take a second one of these and I'm going to modify them and put them together to where there will be a total of eight drawers in the U.S. General 30 inch cart. And I like the height of this when I'm sitting down on a stool at work where I can look over inside of it while I'm sitting on my uh, uh, stool. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to make it happen. So uh, sit back and let's see how it works. All right, I have skipped all the boring unboxing of this new US General 30 inch roll cart. And what they have given us is um, a couple different pieces here. Um, some of this stuff we're gonna use and some we're not. Uh, you'll see it's got the bottom tray. I'll probably use that because uh, it's new and my other one is used. It's got the four um, sidebars and then it's got the, the inside cart of the cart here has uh, the two struts and um, it's got a set of keys and I believe it's got uh, the casters on the inside of this bottom tray. Uh, what we're going to do is if I go over here to this other roll cart uh, the next move I'm going to make is I'm going to take a drill bit and I'm going to uh, remove this bracket and this bracket with these two rivets on each side and we need to take off the top and these uh, two struts so these rivets will need to be drilled out as well uh, and then we will go to our next move after that so our next move we will uh, we still need to drill out those rivets uh, as you can see the struts are taken off of the lid and the lid is sitting ready to be uh, disassembled along with the brackets that hold the locks. Uh, we will also need to take the lock cylinder out. You'll need an 11 millimeter uh, to take that bolt off of the lock cylinder and take the this nut free from the front of the case here. And then after that, while we drill out the all these uh, rivets, we're gonna need to take out this these two rivets for this bracket and these, this rail, same thing with the other side. We'll do that with this rail as well. Um, and then we can test fit, uh, or before we do that, then we will have to take all four of the drawers out and remove this locking mechanism. So we can test fit the, the, the upper box, which is going on top of this older box. So, to take these drawers out, um, you'll have to pull your drawer all the way out and there'll be these little black guides uh, that you push down and there'll be one on the opposite side. You push both of those down uh, at the same time. And it should come free. like that. A little harder than I thought it was going to be, but once you get it to work correctly, then you can take all four of these drawers out and it will give us access to that locking mechanism. And we will take that out after this. So I have uh, already removed the lid to this roll box and I have taken these brackets off of the locking mechanism. As you can see, the two rivets, there's four of them. Um, on the back side, but you're only going to take out these two outer ones and there'll be two vertical ones going like this. You leave those in for now, but we take, I've taken those off. These guides that you are, go down to lock the drawers, those are going to need to come out and we're going to be modifying these guides to be longer so it can, it can lock all eight drawers 
at the same time. And that will, that will happen later here in this video. But for now, we take these out and we will also be removing this bar mechanism. Uh, so that will be out of the way. And then we still need to take out these brackets over here. Well, as you can see, I have removed all of the brackets, the lid, and the locking mechanisms for this roll cart. And you can see they everything is free. And I have made quite a mess with all these rivets. So I'm going to clean up my mess. And I'm going to take this over to my table. And we will start seeing a visual of what this is going to look like as we put it, the two carts together. But first, we need to disassemble the, the basket here, the cart, from the four posts that I already have installed. So I'm going to remove those and take this whole assembly free from these four uh, angled bars and then we will take that over to the bench. There are two more rivets that we are going to take, or four more rivets rather, that we are taking out of this top of this cart. You'll see the one here and over there on the sides over there for the locking mechanism. That will allow this, com this whole basket to completely separate. As you can see, it's hanging here. And we're gonna take this whole basket off of this top piece of the cart. Here it is without the top basket, and as you can see, I have left uh, just the interior part of the drawers, um, and this is the piece that we are going to take over and put with the other tool card. As you can see, I have mocked up the box here, the tech cart, to see what it's going to look like and I'm really surprised on how it is turning out. It's uh, turning out actually better than my uh, original plan. Um, and so what I've done is I've put that second cart or the second row of uh, drawers right here. And you'll see what I've done down here is I've stacked a couple two by fours down in underneath of the box. And what I'm going to do later with them is I'm going to fix them to this bottom tray and also fix this, uh, this upper uh, portion of this cabinet to those 2x4s as well to give it some uh, stability and strength. Um, you'll see what I've done with these uh, angled corners is I've actually dropped them down and um, to be able to accommodate the new... Um, design that's going on here and uh, you'll see these holes right here they're not quite lined up but I think once I tighten down those two by fours and fix it to the bottom tray I believe that those will line up much better they're really not far off um, and what I'm thinking what I'll be doing is I'll just I'll just clean up those holes and maybe uh, widen them out to be able to fit that bolt, that uh, carriage bolt inside of those corners. And uh, so that's where we're at. Um, the next move is I'm gonna take these drawers back out and I'm gonna have to start working on uh, making this locking mechanism work for all eight of these drawers uh, instead of the only four that's going on right now. I'm gonna have to uh, put them together and uh, weld those uh, brackets together and then after that um, these two drawers right here I have to fix the the center roller bearings to um, to the bottom portion of this upper box so they can roll on those um, on those guides right there so what we're going to do next is, as you can see, I have taken the top portion of this tech cart and put it on the ground. And I have put the two locking bars on the bottom portion of this tech cart. Uh, the idea is to weld these brackets together with the upper brackets. And I will show you that here a little later in this video. Um, but uh, the idea is to take 
this cart and the bottom cart and take them over to my bench over here and I'm gonna flip them upside down and shut all the drawers that's the most important thing is to have the drawers all shut and then we can try to put these two brackets together and I will show you that here in a minute so the next move is we're gonna establish the center of this upper bracket on the fully assembled upper cart and what I found is that it is 11 in, or no, I'm sorry, 13 and 11 sixteenths of an inch. And that's measuring from the outside to the outside of these drawers. And now that I've established that center, um, I can take that down here and I can apply that to this bracket that I want to affix to the bottom of this cart. So this bracket will actually It'll uh, fix, I'm sorry, it'll fix inside of this bottom portion of the cart, but I still need to modify the bottom. So uh, I'll show you what that's going to look like. So what I've done now is you can see this is the bottom side of the tool cart. And we've established that this center line for the bracket that we want to install on the bottom side here <clears throat> is at 13 and 11 16 inch and that's measuring from this outer lip here all the way across to this other outer lip here and that's how I've established the center line to be 13 and 11 16 of an inch and so if you see down here I've got it just sitting inside of the tool cart here so what we need to do is we need to cut the bottom here and when I'm gonna make a cut here cut along the edge here and a cut there and that will be able to make room for that bracket to fix to the bottom side of this uh, box and we then we also need to make a cut here and there and over here and over there for these guide brackets for the locking mechanism to work properly so what you see now is I have cut the access holes for the the other bracket, the locking mechanism bracket that needs to go in here, when we uh, put both of these boxes together, we're going to have to determine where we're going to have to cut the this bracket to meet up with the other bracket so it is directly in line with all of the other uh, drawers. And then once we can figure out where they go, then we can weld the two brackets together and slide it all the way in. What I did to make these holes, as you can see, I used a small little Dremel tool with a, a small little cutoff wheel head, and uh, that makes for a really clean cut. And same thing with this uh, bracket here. I made a couple clean cuts there. Now I'm ready to rivet this in, and once this is riveted in, uh, I'm going to touch up all my bare metal here with some black paint, and uh, then we can start putting the brackets up there, figure out where we need to weld those, and I can also put the guide on here for the top two drawers. All right, you can see that I have installed the bottom rail. It has been riveted on. It has been riveted on to the back side of the cabinet along with the bottom here and along this uh, centerpiece and the guides are sitting in place now um, if you want to know the specific location from that I measured from this edge to the front of this bracket and it was 7 eighths of an inch and that corresponds with that one up here which is 7 eighths of an inch in and I went down the center of the line that I had created by measuring off of the center line of that upper cat cart and so uh, now that we have this installed um, we can move on to trying to figure out this locking mechanism and so the next move is to lay this cabinet on its uh, fate on its back and I'm gonna put the other lower cabinet up against it and then once I do that we can figure out how to uh, put those two bars together and then what we'll have to do is I'm going to have to remove 
these brackets that uh, hold the locking mechanisms here and uh, I can do that by drilling those rivets out from the back and we'll be able to pull that off and I'll be able to slide these out and um, after we do that then we can figure out how to attach those together. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to temporarily uh, take a piece of metal and rivet them together and then after that um, I may weld them. But that's optional. Uh, for now I'm going to make it to where you can um, just rivet it together if you don't have access to a welder. All right, I have the cart up on the bench here, and you'll con you can see I have both of the carts put together, um, and I have them clamped currently. Um, I have not attached this lower basket to the upper basket. Um, I need to verify where to drill the holes through this uh, upper cabinet here. And I'll do that by just taking a black Sharpie and popping through all those rivets that go around the bottom and both sides. Um, there is a rivet right here underneath of this hole that is so close that I may just go ahead and drill that rivet out and use that as my guide point uh, for each side of this basket. Then after that, uh, I will tackle the locking mechanism which is going to be probably the most difficult uh, aspect of this build, but uh, that's where we'll head next. Here you'll see I have installed the two lower drawers and the one upper bottom drawer on the tool cart here. And the reason I did this is I'm going to start figuring out where I need to put this bottom guide uh, for the locking mechanism. And as you can see, I have uh, marked a black Sharpie line of right in the center above where this uh, drawer is sitting in place. And I did that also over here. And what I'm gonna do is, let me get up here and show you this. What I'm gonna do is get all of these locking mechanisms to work together. Right now, this is in the the up position with the with the top open and when you push it down you'll see here when you push it down the drawer the arm will go down and those square openings will lock into the top of that hook that's on the bottom side of these drawers and so what i need to do is i need to put these bottom two drawers in and also mark a black line to where um, I need to uh, verify the resting position of this bracket. Once I do that, then we can take all the drawers out and um, we can figure out how to put those together. Here you'll see the tool card is fully assembled. The locking mechanisms are both in place. I wanted to show you what it's going to look like um, before I take the drawers back out of this cart and show you how the locking mechanism is um, fastened together. Uh, like I said before, um, we're going to need to weld those. Um, however, I did set it up in a fashion to where if you don't have an access to a welder, um, you can rivet these two locking bars together. It will work, but they may wear out over time and you may have to replace the rivets. So that's uh, one option, but I would highly suggest uh, welding the two locking bars together and I will show you what those look like here So I have a ruler here next to the locking bar um, In which I had crafted to put in the bottom of this box um, The bottom box is the one that we need to pay attention to um, when we are trying to uh, get these two pieces to come together um, you'll see that I have riveted these two pieces together um, I had notched out a piece of the top but what I've done is I've taken a, a, a cut along the back side there and I've left a little bit of a uh, uh, as you can see in here I left a little bit of that internal side piece so I could rivet these together and I had trimmed up trimmed open the bottom so there will be a hole here for this bottom drawer on the top of the cart so you can lock that one in place 
And like I said, what I am going to do is I am going to weld these two brackets together. As you can see, I've taken all of the drawers out and let's get more honed in on what we've done here with the locking mechanism. As you can see, um, I showed you this before that we've riveted this together and you'll notice that I have drawn some uh, Sharpie lines here on this upper locking mechanism. This, this mechanism that is, goes into the top here. You'll see that I have drawn a Sharpie um, right at the bottom of this upper bracket. And then I have verified the center point of all of the lower brackets, as you can see here. Um, my ruler, uh, what I've used for this lower bracket is that you need to measure from the bottom of this cabinet up into the bottom of this lower bracket, and that's 7 eighths of an inch. And that will be your final resting point, is 7 eighths of an inch. So what you need to do is you need to cut this bracket um, measuring from the bottom side here up to the top the bottom side of this upper bracket and that will determine the length that you need to cut your bar um, and you're not going to make a cut all the way across you're going to cut just the back sides and then you will have to cut the top pieces to be the same way as it is here so in fact you will actually leave a portion of this, I would suggest making a cut on the top to verify the, the same height that you want for these ears to stick out. And then you will drop this down and you will leave these ears, but you will cut the back side to correspond with the front side. Okay, I've got the lock bar uh, fully assembled or fully welded together. If you remember what we did beforehand is I had riveted these together for those people that don't have access to a welder. But I think the more long-term solution is to weld these two brackets together, make sure that they're nice and straight when you weld them. And what I've also done, is you'll see on the inside, I've lubed up these tracks to where the lock bars, that's what the lock bar looks like inside of the track. And I will show you how to put that in. You'll see that there is a bracket here with a spring. That coincides with that top hole right there for the top of the lock bar. And you'll want to slide this into place. Just like this and having this lubed up makes it much easier. And then there it goes. It just makes a nice, that, see how that spring brings that lock bar back up in place. And so now what I'm going to do is I need to put these uh, brackets, these cover brackets back on and I will need to rivet them in place. So you'll see the back side of the tool car here and I have four rivets and those are the uh, rivets for the lock bar cover plates. And um, I have a rivet gun, something you can also purchase at Harbor Freight. And let's go ahead and rivet these off. And you'll see that I had my arm on the inside holding those bracket tight against the outside of this tool cart in order that way it will uh, pull that rivet together tightly. All right, up next, you'll see that I have uh, both the frame sitting on the bench here and the double cart over on the other end of the bench here. Um, the next move that I'd like to take to is you'll see that these inner brackets, I have modified them. Um, if you see the original ones here, let me put this right here. The original brackets, um, they had this lip right here and what I've done with this new bracket is I have modified that. I have bent over the, this portion right here, this small little piece and this piece, and I have removed the metal right here, as you can see there. And then I bent them over and drilled some holes for some rivets. That will come into play later when we put this 
upper portion of the box inside of the frame here and then we can rivet those together and that will give some uh, stability to the cart so it ain't moving around and that's also why I put these 2x4s in here is I'm going to drill through those and attach the bottom of the inside of the cart so it doesn't uh, move back and forth when you roll this thing uh, on a uneven surface and I will attach that with these uh, small uh, lag bolts that I have here you'll need a total of uh, 16 of these bolts to uh, finish this project and that's what we'll do next is we will verify where we're going to drill our holes get this assembled and we will go from there one more thing we need to do though before we assemble this cart is um, as you can remember we had to drop down this the side brackets in order to make the the cart fit in there properly and so I'm gonna need to come back and I'm gonna need to drill out these holes and put those mounting uh, bolts in on all four of these corners. I have gone ahead and put the 2x4s in the bottom of this roll cart um, and I have also installed the casters um, for the bottom of the cart. Uh, but what I have noticed that we're going to have to do is that since I've made these brackets longer um, we're going to have to trim these off so these uh, bottom casters can clear, especially the, the two casters in the front that roll um, all different directions. The back two casters are, uh, they stay in one position. And so we'll have to trim those off and flush them up to the bottom of the cart. Okay, in this next step you'll see that I have taken a black Sharpie and I have drawn lines across the top of these square holes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my cutoff wheel and cut those off, flush them out, and uh, put a little touch-up paint on that. Do that on all four corners. After that, I'd like to put this box back up on all four wheels, and I want to do a brief overall uh, explanation of everything that we've done up to this point. And uh, after that, we can put the drawers in and see what this finished product looks like. All right, I've cut all four corners of the angled brackets that go on the side of this roll cart, and I've touched it up with some green paint that I had mixed up at the paint store. Now I just wanted to do a quick overview of everything that we've done in this video so far. Um, as you can remember, we took this uh, bracket that came off of the original roll cart, and we have riveted it on here to accommodate the, the guides or the roller bearings that hold the top two drawers for the bottom side of this cart. I've also mocked up these locking bars to be welded together around this joint right here. And I have also created custom uh, brackets, the brackets that come with this roll cart, but I've customized it by um, by as you can see earlier where we had uh, bent the angled uh, pieces there so we could drill rivets through and hold it to the side of this cart which adds more rigidity to this roll cart. And then the last thing we did was we put the 2x4s in there and we anchored them to the bottom of the roll cart and also the very bottom basket. Uh, there are four bolts that hold it on on each uh, double set of 2x4s here. Um, so that takes us to the final product, which as you can see, all we have to do is install the drawers and uh, we will have the reveal here shortly. All right, the moment of truth is finally here. Here she is, fully assembled, working perfectly. All right, everything did work out perfectly. I wanted to do an up close and personal tour of this box now that it is fully assembled put the black pad in there and as I said the locking bars are working perfectly so I wanted to test that out and show them to you. So you with the lid shut the lock bars keep all these drawers in place especially the bottom ones that we were wondering would work and everything is looking fantastic. Um, I did have to do a little bit of uh, some uh, alignment here 
but I didn't have to take out any metal. I just took a pry bar and I pried it into place and they all fell into the right position, which was fantastic. So the question you might be, might be asking is, is there anything left over from this build? Um, you had two carts, now you have one cart. Uh, what is left over? Well, I am glad you asked. This is what's left over is a fully assembled one drawer cart. And these are the parts that were left over from this customization. Uh, you'll see the two brackets that, that went here to cover the, the lock bars. You'll see the bottom four corners that I had cut off of the angle bracket. And then you'll see the two remaining pieces of the lock bar that I cut off with the two rubber caps that went over the top and a one strut. Uh, I did put this back on, so essentially you don't need to take this off at the beginning of your build. And I put one strut, and it seems to be holding this thing perfectly. And you can lock it up and have a second roll cart. So, really cool. You can get this fully assembled and end up with a second roll cart. Please hit the like button and notification bell. Look out for more videos just like this. Thank you for watching.